hello everyone in this video i will show you how to connect domain to shopify to do this go to your settings of your shopify there's a separate section for domains so here this is a domain if you want to buy a domain from shopify you can buy and there's a, there will be no any such option to connect it because if you buy any domain from shopify automatically you will get this domain connected but if you have already purchased a domain which you can see here i have purchased a domain from here hosting gear now i want to connect it so to connect it i will just go and click on connect existing domain here now i have to enter my domain so i will just go back here and this is my domain section i will go to the domain portfolio and i will go to the manage right and here just like for example if you have purchased a domain from GoDaddy, namecheap everyone have the same option now i will just copy the domain here i will paste it right and before pasting it here you have to do here so first of all you have to go to the manage section and here in the dns name server you have to delete this a type uh, a records and c name records right so here you can see i have a records twice i will just delete this right the same way uh, there's a uh, another a i will just delete this again i will delete my c name so you have to delete a records and uh, c name records and once you have delete you have to just go and click on next in your shopify store once it does this as you can see here this domain required verification so this is what they are asking so here we have to verify uh, um, you know verify the connection so to verify the connection here it says in the name of c name you have to copy this up so we will set up first of all c name so i will just set up here c name and in the name section we will paste this up right and same thing our current value it's around empty and we have to create another record that is a record so first of all let's create a c name record and just go and click on add record so this is a target so in the target section you have to write shops.myshopify.com if you see a different thing here same thing you can see here right required value shops.myshopify.com now you have to paste this click on add record now you have to add a record for the a right so as you can see here for the a1 so we will just copy for the a now here we have select a here in the name section we will paste this up and this is a required value so we will copy this and here point to click on add record now there's another option that is a name right that is a txt record so we have to click on our txt record and here there's a no txt so we will just go here and we will look for txt so this is a txt in the name section we will copy this up we will paste here and the txt value is this we will paste again click on add record so we have added all the three which the shopify asked to now we will just go and click on verify connection now domain ownership verification failed from the host because i didn't give the answer you know uh, because i'm not the exact owner right so once i give here the permission to do this because this uh, you know this uh, website is already connected to a different uh, you know website that's a problem so i have to remove it and if i remove it then there will be a huge reason so i hope you understood and in your case this will not happen because if you just uh, follow this exact step by step instruction the domain will be get connected i hope you found this video very useful subscribe